the wonderful love of God. And you know how much we love those African poets. Glory be to God. And the way they express themselves. Glory be to God. Jesus, you love me so much. Oh, express love. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Excessive love. Excessive love. It is more than we can explain. The love of God is so wonderful. And we just bless you, you, and thank God for you and especially you. Bishop, would you open in prayer for us? Let's go to God and pray. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes. we want to thank and praise and glorify your name for another afternoon. Another day. You have given us the privilege and has mandated us that we ought to speak the word. And your word declared that we ought to speak it in season and out of season. Hallelujah. We gather together from various parts of the earth today and have joined this media in which we are going to lift up your name. Hallelujah. What a name. And your word said that if you be lifted up from the earth, you will draw all men unto you. God, we are going to lift you high. We exalt you Hallelujah. as king of kings. Lord of lords, as our master, our redeemer, our friend, mm -hmm. our baptizer, our healer, our defense, yeah. our high tower, <laughs> our rock. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you are all that we need. Glory to God. Yes. A father to the fatherless, a husband to the widow. Glory to God. A friend to the friendless. Yes. You are everything that we need this afternoon. Oh, and so this yes. afternoon we come. Not to beg nor come shaky, but we come boldly to the throne of grace Hallelujah. that we must have access to you. You give us right to come into the door. Your sheep can go in. Your sheep can go out. And you promise us as we come in and as we go out, we were going to find green pastures. Green pastures. Thank you for the green pastures you, in which you have prepared for us. Yes. Thank you because even now, while the enemy is watching, and while the enemy is what turning his face up, oh, Jesus. hallelujah, and want us to die from spiritual malnutrition. Mm. God, your word said that you prepare a table for us yes. in the presence of our enemy. Ooh, we thank you thank for you, the Lord. prepared table. Thank you, thank you, God, and everything that is on the table. We promise this afternoon that oh, we are going yes, to benefit Lord. and we are going to enjoy yes. all that is on the table that in is spread before Jesus. us right now in, in the, the name, name of the Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, take over this service. Take over, Lord. Speak like you have never spoken before. Speak, Lord. Let some sinner hear. Let some backslider come back. Let somebody who was surfing the net, Hallelujah. let them fall on this page. Somebody who, according to your word, that they are hungry. And they're thirsty for righteousness. And as they got hungry, oh God, bring them to this place that they may be fed by the word of oh, the Lord. Yes, Lord. Stir us up, God, that we would speak Stir the undulterated word of God and speak truth. Hallelujah. Which comes oh, out of your yes, bosom, Lord. that comes into our mouth, that we would speak. Because God, you are a spirit. Yes, and they are. that worship you must worship you in spirit and in truth. Connect us like we have never yes. been connected Connect together us, Connect. in the name of the Lord Jesus Hallelujah. Christ. Connect the evangelist, the spirit of the evangelist. Hallelujah. Connect the spirit of the prophet. Glory yes. to God. Connect the voice of the apostle. Glory oh, to God. Awesome. And the ministry of helps. Connect us so that the body will be so fitly joined together that as, as we shoot up from the Hallelujah. bones that everybody will receive the supply to which you have for them what today. Supply, and we supply. bless you now. And we praise you. Bless Pastor Hines. Glory to God as she will deliver the word of God. We say like the writer and say like the apostles. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. Hear us now, and we will not fail to worship you. We say these praise all in the name of the one who lie down and rose up and live and forever live. Hallelujah. I will never die again. You are our God, and we give your name the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. We just want to thank God this afternoon. We thank God for all of you that are watching us from Barbados. Praise God from Ghana. Praise God. We just want to thank God for you, you, and especially you, England, Trinidad, New York, even right here in Pennsylvania. 
Glory be to God. And of course, North Carolina, we just want to thank and praise and magnify the Lord because truly he's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. And truly, God have an excessive love for us. Oh, yes, you do. He loves us in a way that no one else can. Glory yes, be to God. Yes, Access yes. love, oh. Glory be to God. And we just magnify the name of the Lord. Apostle, we're glad to have you. And we say grace and peace be unto thee from God and the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We're glad to have you this afternoon in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All Amen. grace and peace be multiplied to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And I am happy to be here with you this afternoon and Amen. see we have a lot of friends. We even have Bishop Gary George all the way from Trinidad God bless you. watching with us this afternoon. And we say to each one who are coming on this evening, stay right there and let it lock. Share this bears with you as Pastor Hines have something from God to share with all of us. And we say, Speak, Lord, we are listening. And we're not only going to be hearers this afternoon, Pastor Hines, but we promise that we're going to be doers of Amen. the word of the Lord Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I did enjoy the word this morning because it is time for us to get back to holiness. Amen. It is time for the church to repent. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And, and people talk about a revival, but how could you be revived if you don't repent? Amen. Glory be to God. So there have to be a spirit of repentance, glory be to God, in the midst of the church. And we thank God for the word this morning. I enjoy the word, glory be to God. And I want to say another time, Apostle, to you, happy birthday. Oh, thank you for wishing me. And let me say um, to all the people and all my friends and all my children around the world that take time today to wish me. You know, I, I really don't celebrate this day as much as my spiritual birthday. Yes. But let me say, my wife told me that I had to celebrate this day. Yes, and I, I, will. I could not leave town uh, this time. <laughs> and even if I wanted to go somewhere and somebody, I could I have to tell them no, because right. today was a special day. Amen. And, and let me say to all the people over there, my wife did prepare a, a <laughs> sumptuous meal. I enjoy it immensely. So if Amen. I, if you see me go sleep on the broadcast, oh, it's not because I'm tired, but because the writers have just stopped in. <laughs> in the name of the Lord, we had a wonderful time. Yes, God bless you. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Glory be to God. And one of our favorite meats whenever we have holiday is lamb. We yes. love lamb. Amen. Glory be to God. And we were able to prepare our holiday meal. Yes. Glory be to God. And my grandson, there is no one in the world that can make a salad. You know, he can specialize in salads. Glory be to God. Like my grandson. And he did a good Lord. job. Yes, he sure did. He did it specially for me today. Yes, he sure did. Yes. And he did a very good job. Amen. And, and usually when we have celebration, we have decided that everything the Lord has blessed us with, we're going to use while we are alive. Amen. And when we have celebrations like our birthday, our Mother's Day, we take out our best expensive Cutlet. china. Yes, yes. Everything. There will be nothing. If anything happened to myself and my husband, there will be nothing in this house that's brand new. It was all used. All used. Eh? Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. At every celebration, we take out our best china. And we celebrate, glory be to God, good food. It was good food, good company. And truly, God was a good, is a good God. We thank, we thank God for Bishop James Nelson watching us, and we thank God for Sir, Sir Dennis James. She's watching us, and many folks are watching us from everywhere. God bless you. Praise the Lord. In God the name bless of the Lord. you, and especially you. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And I just want to thank God for all of you this afternoon. I'm blessed. Amen. We're blessed, and we're extremely happy. I, I told my husband, I say, there were times that we didn't get to celebrate many things because he traveled so much. I, I said, still do travel. Yes, but I said, but when we moved but, to North but today, Carolina. Today I'm on, on a lockdown. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. and, and when we have these holidays, if you are listening, the answer would be no. Because if no one else celebrate this man of God, I will. Amen. I will. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He cannot come 
when the, on these special occasions, glory be to God, the word is not going to spoil. Amen? The word is not going to spoil. Right, Apostle? Yes, yes. Amen. It's going to be before or after because I will celebrate my prince and my man of God. Praise the Lord. We thank God for all of you. God bless you, you, and especially you. Today I have a word that I want to share with you because truly God is a good God. And, and as I looked at that word and as I was studying the word of God, I recognize that, that without a shadow of a doubt, God sure loves his people. God really, really loves his people. Glory be to God. And if his people would turn back to him, he would receive them. Psalm 73 Glory we look God. at Psalm 73, and I am going to read Psalm 73 from 21 to 28. This is one of my favorite Psalms, and right now we are studying the Psalms. We're studying the Psalms, and we're in the Psalms. Glory be to God. And we, we are being blessed by the Psalms, especially in this lockdown. As a matter of fact, we started studying the Psalms before in our Bible study. And, um, we have decided to continue to study the Psalms. They're a blessing to us. They're songs. They're the feelings of people, the way people felt, how they were going through, what they were going through. But the Psalms, even if it started on a negative note, Apostle, it always ended on a positive note. Praise the Lord. Psalm 73, 21 to 28. They said, Doth my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I, and ignorant, I was as a beast before thee. <laughs> Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holden me by thy right hand. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, mm. and after receive me, to glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon the earth that I desire beside thee. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that go a horn from thee. But I love the last verse. It says, but it is good for me to draw nigh to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all thy works. Praise the Lord. And we thank God for the word of God this evening. What a comfort we find in the Psalms. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And all of the Psalms were not written by David, but this was called a Psalm of Asa. And in listening to these verses, as I read Apostle, I hear conviction of sin, the confession of man's ignorance, acknowledgement of God's divine presence, guidance, counsel, and support. And lastly, Man's promise to draw nigh to God and put their trust in God. The Bible said there that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which shall not be removed, but abideth forever. To really understand the words of this Psalm Apostle, you have to go back and read the Psalm from the beginning. Yes. To understand the psalm. Yes, yes. To understand why this man spoke like this and exactly what he was going through. <clears throat> this psalm, Psalm 73, it started on a very high note. Yes. You can't go higher than that. Mm -hmm. It's a truly. God is good. God is good to Israel, to such that has a clean heart. That was a high praise to it talk is. about the goodness of the Lord yes, in yes. the land of the living. Yes. Praise the Lord. So truly God is good. But in the second verse, it took a dive. <laughs> As the Sabbath begin to make a confession, 
He said, but as for me, mm -hmm. you know, apostle, it is good when one can search themselves because it is human nature to place the spotlight on everyone else. Yes. I don't know about anybody, but I always think that I'm right. Mm -hmm. That's human nature. It is human nature until you look into the word of God and the word of God tells you exactly where you are. Hmm? He said, but as for me, my feet were almost gone. Listen to this apostle. My steps had well now split, for I was in this at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Yes. You know what he saw? He saw the same thing that we see in this day. He saw injustice. He saw pride and violence. He saw people that are full of godly goods exalting themselves. He saw dishonesty. He saw depravity. He saw arrogant people speaking. And an arrogant man could only talk foolishness. He saw people boasting. And when he saw this, the Sabbath was upset because what he saw made him angry. But if I really had to give a topic to this word, you know what I would say? Stop looking in the wrong direction. Yes. Right, Apostle? What do you think? Yes. Uh, because Pastor Heinz, life is a journey. Yes, it is. And as we journey in this l walk with God, or natural walk of your walk, mm -hmm. we tend to look ahead. Mm -hmm. Because you can't drive well looking backward. That's right. He was driving ahead. And something, because it is these the sons of Asak as they're moving forward, they recognize God delivering them. Yes. Delivering yes. them from the cesspools of life mm. and brought them, I call it the cesspools of life, Pastor Heinz. I call yes, it because life is full. I know you have life full They're of stuff, of, yes. but every now and then we have That's different true. things that goes on in life. And as he was walking, going on, he, he began this verse like you have just quoted Truly, God is good. God is good. That is high. Mm -hmm. oh, that I is know. rare in his walk. He saw the goodness of God. Yes. And then, like you have just said, his step, he and his walk, his step mm -hmm. has a well nigh slept. And remember, the Bible de declared that the steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord. The yes. Lord had ordered his steps. Yes. He knew where he was going, mm -hmm. but he glanced off of the goodness, goodness of, of God. The yes, he did. And he glanced at Come wicked on, men, yes. men who are, I told you this morning, uh, in the morning's message, and you were, you were not here with me, that the Bible said that the, 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 the heart of man is deceitful and desperately wicked above all things. And then he asked, who can know it? Because men are desperately wicked. And when I, show, I shared this morning, the spirit of desperation is like a man who is drunken. Yes. He tried to catch at anything. Anything. Amen. Anything. And, 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 and sometimes we... Look at the drunken man like the guy, I think I mentioned to you some time ago, honey. I, I, was, I was driving somewhere, and uh, I, I was following the guy who was driving in front of me. Yes. And it looked like he was going in the same direction. Yes. Until I checked his license pl plate. Uh -huh. And the license under the license plate said, don't follow me because I am lost too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Lord have and, mercy. and when people are lost, they need that some direction. Mm -hmm. And, and, and some people fall in people because of the, because they're rich, because they've got some kind of fame to their name. Mm -hmm. But the Bible said we ought to follow the Lord. And, 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 and the sons of Asaph had glanced off of following God, if you would read verse number one, and they start to look at what evil men and how much they have and, and they all have. they had possessed in life. And that almost caused them to slip. To slip. That's right. Yes. You know, he said, um, I found myself in a bad situation. Yes, he did, yes. When I looked at them, I found they were in slippery places. Slippery, slippery. You know what a slippery place? 
<laughs> slippy places like <laughs> a person who is driving a car uh -huh. and it's stuck in sand. Yes. The meter is still showing that you're doing a thousand miles or maybe 600 miles or 700 miles or whatever the speedometer is engaged to work mm -hmm. to. But it is spinning, but it is not it's going anywhere. It's not moving. <laughs> <laughs> Glory be to God. And, and you know, he looked at the situation. Now we can look around us and we can see a whole lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of stuff, Apostle. But the midst of it, we have got to see the goodness of the Lord. Goodness, yes. And when he looked at it, he said, they're corrupt. They speak wickedly concerning oppression. And we've seen that. Yes. We've seen that for the past few years. Oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heaven. Their tongue walketh through the earth. He saw all of these things. The psalmist saw people who did not have the knowledge of God. Yes, yes. Did not have the knowledge of God. But he having the knowledge of God recognized the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And he not only recognized the goodness of the Lord, but he recognized that he could have slipped. Yes, yes. He got himself together. He got himself together. See, when you are looking in the wrong direction, you have the wrong perception. Yes, yes. You don't you don't see things well. Yes. And, and I tell people I didn't always come in this package. Yes. Because I was looking in the wrong direction. Yes. And you don't always see things like you should see them. Yes. Glory be to God. But in the midst of every situation, we have got to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Yes. And looking in the wrong direction, it caused his heart to become troubled. Yes. It caused his heart to become envious. Yes. And it caused him to have impure thoughts. Yes. You know, like, I am going to take somebody out. Yes. Why is it that things are happening for everyone is not happening for me? Do you know one of the things that a message that you have preached years ago that always stayed with me? God does his best work. In the dark. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. We, 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 we oh, as human yes, beings yes. like to see the light and and be on the full uh, front light. Yes. But sometimes God puts you in the dark room. I, I like to put it this way. Uh, years ago when I was raising up, um, coming up, uh, before they have these instant cameras and whatnot, they had the cameras that used to have to have to take the pictures in the light. Yes, you had to be very careful, focus the camera, take the picture in the light. Mm -hmm. But in order to develop the picture, you had to go into a dark room. Yes, and and, and in the, it is in the dark room where you take the picture. Listen, you didn't take the picture ordinary, mm -hmm. you had to create something called the negative. That's right. And then you have to make the real picture from the negative. Mm -hmm. So whatever looked negative in your life, God is allowing you to take a picture. Uh, the, the sons of Asaph saw it first, it looked bright, mm -hmm. but you have to take the picture from the negative. That's right. Yes. And I discovered that years ago. Yes. I discovered that it didn't make sense talking about things. No. It didn't make sense fussing. Yes. It was taking my energy. Yes. Glory be to God. But but what made sense was looking to God. Look to him. And when you look to God and put your trust in God, God turned your situations around. Yes. It's a relationship. And what brought me into that relationship, I tell everybody, worship. Yes. Because I was constantly upset at what I saw. Mm -hmm. But worship for me started with a song. But then I understood what it was saying. It was more than just thanking God for what he has done for. I have done that for years. Yes. But it was worshiping God for who he was. And I actually started researching apostle. Yes. And when I found out who God is. Yes. And how much he loved me. Yes. It changed my mind turn my mind in another direction. Yes. And I said to myself, why am I troubled about these things? Mm -hmm. 
why am I always upset with people? Yes. Because if God is who he say who he is, I can trust him for the impossible. Yes. Do you know that that turned my life completely around? It turned my life completely around. Because I recognize in this life, people will be people. Yes. And no matter what we say, whether God's people are good or whether God's people are bad, God loves his people. Yes, he do. God loves his people. So what we have to do is to take our eyes off of the negative. Yes, yes. And place our eyes on the God that is able to deliver. Amen. God can deliver us in any situation. I'm telling you, it, it not only... Uh, what worship did for me, it brought me into peace, contentment. Yes. And it caused me to focus on a God that can supply my needs, and he did. And it caused me to focus on El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough. And he gave me more than enough. <laughs> I'm telling you, one of these days I'm going to be able to testify. Yes, he did. And it caused me to focus on the God who can do above and abundantly all that I can ever Think or desire. Yes, yes. Glory be, and he did. Yes. Glory be to God. So the Sabbath is looking. And sometimes we cast our eyes on things. Oh, yes, yes. We cast our eyes on things. You know, and, 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 and we're intelligent people. We're not stupid. Yes. And um, everything I have learned over the years, you don't speak about it. Yes. I have decided that there's some battles I'm not fighting. Yes. Do you understand? There's some things I am not even um, commenting on. There's some things I'm not looking. I did all that. It doesn't work. What works for me is putting my trust in God. And when I trust him, he blesses me. Amen. So, so the psalmist here in 72, 12 to 18 says, he said, behold, these are the ungodly. Ungodly. Look, look, look at this man. I mean, these things that were going on, and there are many things that have gone on for the past few years that has upset us. Yes. But you know what I have learned, Apostle? All these years that I tried to fight my own battle, it didn't make no sense. Because if a person don't want to change, they're not going to change. They're not going to. Ain't nobody going to do something because you say something? No. But what I have decided that I'm going to let God fight my battle, and when I turn my battle over to Jesus, he blessed me. Yes, It yes. was like he was saying, I was waiting for you to come all this time. Yes. It's like he was saying, why did you take so long? Glory be to God. And I discovered that this God is wonderful. But 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 the psalmist here is telling you what he was going through. And there are many of us that have gone through and is going through these things. We're looking around and we're seeing trouble. But I am gonna show I'm going to show you today what brought him out. He said, Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They are prospering in the world. Am I saying something? Yes. Are you getting it? The increase in riches. Yes. Now we know that proud people are wicked. Anytime a person becomes proud, they begin to ill treat other people. They, they, they have lost their love and their compassion. Whether it's in the church or outside of the church, it's the same thing. They have no compassion for the people around us. They, they, they see themselves as great and, and the people around us as little. They have no compassion and they they would say, well, we're all the same, but then you can't treat me that bad and tell me that you love me like you love yourself. Because if you love yourself the way you love me, then you don't love yourself. So we know that proud people are wicked because they have money. They don't care what they say. They say anything. They will tell you anything they want to tell you. And they don't care who they hurt. And this is what the man was looking They don't care who they hurt. They don't care. In other words, and he looked and he saw all of this is happening. It's happening. He went on to say, Verily, 
I had cleansed my heart Mark in and pain innocent, yes. <laughs> and washed my hands in innocency. innocency. Yes. Now, I want to tell you out there, if you are living right and things, people are not treating you right, let me tell you, you have not done it in vain. You have not done it in vain. What he was saying, in other words, what good it is for me to live holy. This is what the psalmist is saying. He's saying, I have gained nothing by thinking right. I have kept myself from sin in vain. Why should I have clean hands and a pure heart? The psalmist was having a hard time. Hard time, yes. He was having a hard time, Apostle. Yes. At verse 14. He said, for all day long have I been plagued mm -hmm. and chastened every, every morning. morning. Yes. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of thy children. I would be betrayed. In mm -hmm. other words, he's saying, I want so badly to tell someone what I am going through, that they will feel what I am feeling. But if I did it, they're going to think that I'm a traitor. Yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. See, let me tell you something. You got to know what to speak and what not to speak. Don't talk everything, saints. Don't talk everything. Do you hear me? You have to learn how to hold your peace. There are times when there are things you shouldn't ask anybody to help you pray. You know what I call sharing? I call sharing a higher form of gossip. People say, but you should share that with me. No, that's not what the Bible says. The Bible never told us to share those things with anyone. That's why he kept his mouth shut. When you have a problem, fall on your knees and tell God all the truth. Tell yes. him how you feel. Yes. Because he knew that if he had told anyone yes. what he was going through, it would appear as though he's a traitor yes. to the people of God. Betrayed Then him. maybe, mm -hmm. and then they would turn around and betray him. Yes, yes. Have you ever shared anything with someone, and then you heard it? Over again. Over again? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. They, so, they, yes. They, 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 he felt... <laughs> Once he released this heart to them. Yes. And th he called it a play. Yes. He said, I would play with this because mm -hmm. every time I talk and I tell the person the truth, instead of helping them, they feel that they were being betrayed. Yes. So something, and sometimes like, like Pastor Angie just said, you can't share everything mm -hmm. with everybody. You got to know when to s silent and you got to know when to speak and you got to know how to speak the truth in love. Yes. Amen. I, I told you this morning, and from and I quote this morning from the book of Jeremiah, chapter numbers. Uh, when he said, he said that, that the heart is deceitful. Oh my God! Go back on that. It's deceitful and that's What 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 the sons of Asaph were seeing here is the spirit of deceit, not from him, but from others. Once he stopped them, oh, one side they look like they're basking in God's sunshine. They're twisting on him. And he said, he said, he said, all of this, all, all this was too painful. It was for too me. painful. It's best to shut up. <laughs> yes, yes. It's be you know, see, I learned how to win battles. You know what is my fight, Apostle? My fight is worship. You, you, for all of you who don't understand the distinction, the difference between worship and praise, it's sad. Mm -hmm. My fight is worship. Yes. I, 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 when I am worshiping and telling God, who he is, how wonderful he is, how extraordinary he is, how great he is. What God does, he fights the battle. Oh, yes, he does. Because my fight has become worship. That's why people fight worship. Because they know that if you get into worship, you will stop depending on them. Yes, yes, yes. You will stop depending on them. Yes. You're no more asking for a prayer of agreement. No. Because you find out who God is and that God listens to the same. And you find out 
that when God looks down, he doesn't see a name. He doesn't see an apostle. Yes. He doesn't see a pastor. Yes. He see his child. Yes, yes, yes. See, 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 that's so powerful. Worship, worship, worship helps you to see. Connects. Yes. It connects you who God really is. Yes, yes. That you can go to him at any time. So, so he said, this thing is really weighing me down. Yes. I can't tell anyone how I'm feeling because I don't want to betray yes. God's people. Yes. He said, when I thought to know this, it was too painful for too me. Too painful. He was depressed. He become despondent. You know, I was listening. One of the people that you, you introduced me to music. You, Apostle, you introduced me to all kinds of music. Yes. Because years ago, you know, I used to like to listen to Mahalia Jackson. And then <laughs> you let me know there was more than just Mahalia Jackson. I remember you went out and you bought every kind of religious music you can find. Yes. Uh, and that's when I heard the Clark sisters <laughs> sing this yes, song. Remember yes, the Clark sisters? Yes. You know, he was so despondent that he thought that the things that he has done, keeping his heart pure, yes. was in vain. Now the Clark sisters sing this song. Is my living in vain? Yes. This is a question. Is my prayer. Is my giving in vain? Yes. Is my praying in vain? Yes. Is my fasting in vain? Said, am I wasting my time? Yes. And then they went on to answer their own question. And the answer was, no, of course not. It's not all in vain. Yes. Because up the road, there is eternal gain. This man was despondent. And he said, I have washed my hands and made them clean in vain. I want to encourage those of you that are out there. Doing the things you are doing that is right is not in vain. Because your brother is not doing it and your sister is not doing it. Glory be to God. That don't have anything to do with you. Every one of us have got to answer to God. For the things that they have done, that we have done in our body, whether it be good or evil. And one of the things that we do, and I looked around, one of the things that we do, God did not call us to police each other. No, no, no. Because no. he's the Lord of the vineyard. Yes. We were placed in the vineyard to do a job. So my brother, my sister, if you are doing the right thing, and there is nobody else that is doing what you're doing. <laughs> Call on to Jesus. Because God is going to bless you for your works. And at the end of it, you're going to hear well done. Now, right here, the psalmist is now coming to his senses. Yes, 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 yes. His depression is about to leave him. Yes, yes. He is now changing his view from horizontal to vertical. Yes. Stop looking around and start looking up. Yes. Looking on to Jesus. Who is the author. Who is the author. Finisher. And finisher of our faith. Yes, yes. You know, David said, I will lift up mine eyes. I will lift up my eyes to the God of the hills. Of the hills. Because my help cometh from the God of of the hill. Yes. I'm going to look to him. And, and that I think the problem is is that as we are growing up we get confused. Confused, yes. And we are not sure what to do. But the safest thing we can do is to run to God. You know, I am from the island of Barbados, little island in the Caribbean. And when I was growing up, I noticed that mothers that were not educated brought forth children that were doctors and lawyers. And, and, and the things about some of these people, they could not read, but they could pray. Yes, yes. And they went to God, and many of these people were what we call single parents. Yes. Because their husband or the man that they lived with left them, you know. And they came... To a decision, apostle, 
this child is going to do better. Yes, yes. Than yes, I have done. Yes, yes. Their trouble made them turn to God. And, and that's what that's what happened with a lot of people. Oh my God. They most people, instead of getting their, their trouble, bring you in fact, my, my grandmother just said, pray will get you in trouble as well as trouble will get you in prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So, 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 so people, once they get into trouble or, or they see some trouble, the first thing they do, they either stay away from God, mm -hmm. they run away from his, his church, they don't want to associate with those people who can give them a word because people come and ask you for a word, but they ask you for a word where they think. They already know what they want to hear. And if they don't hear what they want to hear, they are gone away. Yes. They, they, uh, the sons of Asaph was different. They, they, they said, uh, he said, he said in one of the verse, he's, with all that he was saying, mm -hmm. one of the things that really blessed my heart, and you skip over that for a moment, but I thought it was good to get back to it. He said, I am continually be with you. That's right. He said, I, I am, I am oh, continually. To I yes, am yes, continually. I am continually yes, be yes. with you. Yes. Yes. So, so you see, we're we going to come to that, Apostle. We're going to come to that. Yes. And, and these people pray. I look at your mother. Yes. You know, she had three sons, two are pastors, and my sister-in-laws are brilliant. Yes. yes, they are. All them girls are educated. <laughs> Amen. Yes. You know, I look at mommy, Pastor Greenish mother. Yes. You know, all those kids that she had. Yes. Husband died. Yes. Glory be to God. I think that the last one is dead now. Yeah. But before that, the first one is gone. And she raised all them kids. Yes. Brilliant. See, see, and I look at, and, and, and the thing is, were educated with the British education, which is harder yes. than the American education, because Britain made it hard. Yes. Glory be to God. Uh, but but they succeed, and they succeed because all they have was a prey, and, and, and they fell on their knees. They fell on their knees, and because some of them could not read, they only repeated what they hear. You know, you know why you were saying that. I remember. Uh, and I'm straying from you what you're saying. I remember when we had the church in Hackett Hall. Yes. We used to have every Friday night, if you could remember what we called, all night service. Yes. And there was a young lady from Barbados then. But she never missed prayer meeting. No, she never missed. She never missed. She and never the missed. mother was upset with her and said she didn't fail. But you know, she never failed an exam. Mm -mm. Because she never attributed her age. I remember she said to me, Pastor, Except the, if the Lord can't build this house, it won't be built. God may let her study. I'm not saying you shouldn't study. She studied. She did everything. But she never let God out of her. Thing. That's and, right. And, and Wendy became a very smart and yes, intelligent. Yes, you remember she her? Yes, she yes. did. Yeah. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. So, so, so the psalmist is looking around, and it seems as though other people are prospering. Yes. But my God, when you begin to look up, Yes. Bishop God will make you prosper. Yes. And he'll make everything that you put your hands to do prosper. Yes. And he'll make your children prosper. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So so I truly magnify the Lord. You're living and you're praying. You're not wasting time. Yes. You're yes. not wasting time. So you have to start looking in the right direction. That's it. That's it right there. <laughs> in the right direction. Stop looking across. That, stop, and start looking up. That, that's how the sons of Asak, they was looking across. Yeah, left and you right. See, because left and right. When, when, you, when, you, when you start looking across, you can't rise up. Yes. Amen. Horizontal. Because left and right. Yeah, looking yes, yes, right, yes. looking left. Vertical. Yeah, just looking left. <laughs> look but up, when, you up, start, look when, you, when you start, I call it aiming high. Yes. Because the moment you look, start looking high, your aim is different. Yes. 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 You can when you this way, you're only aiming so. Mm -hmm. But when you start, your aim is to get you to go to the next level. Like the like the train, the plane that is going down the runway. She's going down the runway to pick up speed to go to higher. To go up. Yes. To go up. Yes. You know, and 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 and, and here, he begin to change his the direction he was looking in. Yes. Yes. Mm. He began to change. 
No, he started looking in the right direction. Amen. Hmm? Looking. And, and, and he stopped looking to the place where there was darkness and start looking to the place where there was light. Yes. He went to the sanctuary. Oh, yes. Yes. Now, some of us at this time might not be able to go to the sanctuary, but the Bible says your bodies is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And if you open that Bible, glory be to God. And there are pastors, apostles, that are still using every media they're using to reach their people. That's why I'm using this media yes. to reach the people here in North Carolina. Yes. That we pass to God's people here. Praise the Lord. So you'll get a word from the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. He said, when I went into the sanctuary That's of God. That's a place to go, Mount Zion. <laughs> oh my God. He said, then understood I their aim. Yes, yes, yes. They are in slippery places, but my feet almost slipped. Yes. Because I was watching the wrong thing. But I am not the one that is supposed to be slipping. They are supposed to be slipping. Yes. You know, people have a lot of complaints to the things that is happening all around us. And, and, and people are asking me, what do I think? I think that you should pray. Yes. I know what I did. I went into the secret place and I shut the door. Yes. And I made my prayer. This is about... Why, why, why don't you why don't you just pray that no 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 you go into your secret place and shut the door and if you go into your secret place God will show you that all things work together for, to God for the thing because we love the Lord all things work together for good because we love the Lord all things are not good but, but they working. work together for the good of them that means it is working together for my good. So whatever happened. So he went into the sanctuary. Yes. And he heard something. Uh -huh. And what he heard is that he is not supposed to be slipping because they were already in slippery places. Yes, yes. That's what he heard. He heard that they were in slippery places. Yes. And because they were in slippery places, they were going to come down to destruction. The Sabbath got some help. Yes. We are here to help you today. To let you know it does not matter what it looks like. God loves his people. That's why I played that song. Jesus, you love me so much. Oh, excess level. Like I said, you know, these African poor poets, they don't have to rhyme. Man, they have a way of expressing God that I love. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Jesus, you love me so much. Oh, when you see who God is, then you would really see who is in slippery places. He saw the wicked in slippery places, so he got out. When he heard the truth, when he went to the sanctuary, he had an awakening. He saw the end of the ungodly and he came under conviction. Yes. He was convicted, Apostle. Yes. He was convicted. Yes. He was convicted because he recognized that he was the one who brought an affliction upon him that was not supposed to be there. He afflicted his own self. So, and, and that's the worst thing to do oh when you are self-afflicted. Lord, you know, mercy. you know, no, no. When, when, when you when you afflict your own self, I can understand somebody beat you up, and I. But when you got when you start being sorry for your own self. Oh my God! And beat your own self up with your one of the things that and I I could never understand when I was a boy that um, my, I did something wrong and my grandmother used to tell me go cut a whip mm -hmm. and bring to me I could never understand that <laughs> I, I would look for, for the smallest one and that was the worst and that one, was the worst was one because she said go 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 she get two two like that and, and she said bring another one and she wrapped them together but I, I'm saying all that to say this the, the, the worst infliction is when you afflict 
your own self. When you tell Don't yourself, tell uh, when, you, when you get to yourself, I'll never arrive, I'll never get there. And you keep looking me. over in somebody's backyard, backyard to see what they have in their backyard Ooh. and you say, they have this and I'm serving God and I should and have I had this. Oh I, should, I should be further than this. But the problem is I preached a message a few weeks ago and you were there when I ministered. They, they didn't measure how far God brought them from. They yes. didn't pull out the measuring mm -hmm. system. If you had pulled out the measure in stick and see, last year I didn't have this. That's right. And oh year before I didn't have that. Yes. But God give me this. Mm -hmm. I have not yet arrived to where I want Ooh, as yet, but I'm, but I'm going somewhere. I'm, I'm getting there. Place. I'm in a good place right <laughs> now because last year I had people who hated me. Last year I had people who didn't like me, but I didn't let that stop me from that getting here. I draw, I, I pull out and I measure again. I pull out the plumb line, I pull out the measuring yes. line, and I measure how far I was and the distance how far between. I came. Yeah, I measure Ooh. the distance from how far I came Jesus. and to where I am. If you ever measure how far you came from, you will never tell yourself, I ain't got nothing and I ain't. No, you got to measure how good God is. There were some good days. There were some bad days, but look where God has some caused me days. to arrive now. I'm in a better day. Amen. These are better days. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I'm still looking for the best. Yes. And like you talk about, you've got to measure, but as long as you are in strife, yes. and that's what I had to learn. I had to learn to get out of strife. Yes. Because what I was doing, I was looking at people and I thought that these people were the most wonderful things of the face of the earth until I went into the word of God. Yes. And realized that if God ever blessed me, I ain't going to treat nobody like that. Amen. Why? Because God is... <laughs> let, 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 let me say <laughs> past lines and to, to all, all, like all, that. all those who are watching this. I, 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 want, to, I no. want to lay this prophetic word to those who are watching this this afternoon. God is not unfair. No, he's not. God is not unfair. He, no, he's know, not. he knows when your day is arrived. Ooh, and, 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 and you know, just a few mornings ago, we 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 we, we was and, and, and we heard the story before, but it became personal to us when mm -hmm. we went to the uh, um, um, uh, uh, Popeyes. We, you felt like you would have eaten some fried chicken. Yes, yes. And, and we we was going through the drive-through. Yes. And, 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 and but 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 you wanted a certain piece of meat. Yes. And they tell us pull out the line. Yes. So we have to wait. And you said, well, all, all the cars are behind us, and they're passing us and going out. Mm -hmm. And we, they tell us, pull up. And what they tell us, pull up, pull up by the garbage and wait. <laughs> That's what they tell us. And they went a, we had to wait a long time. But, but what, what, it was a special order. But Apostle. because it was a special order, we had to wait for it. We had to wait for it in spite of the garbage can. We have to wait for it, and we got it. Yes. We got, we got our order. And we got our order. Yes. We got our order. Yes. A and we've got to wait. And you see, that was something I had to learn. Yes. Y you see, saints, I, I know some of you all are getting discouraged, but <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me careful. I passed that road. Yes. Yes. It was not a pleasant thing. Yes. That's why I am here to try to tell you that don't be discouraged yes god is not unfair yes you might have to wait a little longer for your order yes but it's coming it is we waited we waited and, and you know i waited for god and i waited while i was waiting for god because waiting for god is waiting for manifestation but waiting on God is serving him. Yes. Because that's what a way to do. Th that's true. You. That's true. And while I was waiting for God, I've learned to wait on him. One of the things I put away was strife. Mm -hmm. I stopped looking at people's backyard and started working mine. Yes. <laughs> yes. Do, do you know that, that, that God told, I think it was one of the tribes, I think it was the children of Joseph. God said, cut down your own trees. Yes. And I started cutting down my own trees. Because you're making the path to build on your own property. If you don't cut down. Oh, because, my because God. Because the, they, they were looking and said, they're, they're giants in the lands, mm -hmm. and they have chariots of iron, and they have all these other yes. stuff. 
But the man of God t told them, if you want to really possess this land, if you must possess this land, mm -hmm. you must look past the trees. Mm -hmm. You must cut down the trees. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And then you must drive out the giants. Yes. A if you don't drive out what has already occupied your life, uh -huh. There's some things that have occupied our lives. Sometimes it is a generational thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. They think, and, and some people have this get over spirit. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. and have the, all of these spirits that want to get over. And they, they think that somebody owed them something. Yeah. But when you get to the place to mm -hmm. drive out the giant, drive, them out. drive, drive them out. the giants that stood, mm -hmm. stands in your place, or drive out the Canaanites and all mm -hmm. these other ites that stands before you. When you drive them out, mm -hmm. then you have the rights to possess. You cannot possess when other people already occupy. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. You got to drive them out so that you can occupy and take what God has for That's you. That's right. Because when you keep looking over in people's property, yes, there's gonna be strife. Yes, uh, I tell people I learned to take a walk. I yes. said, what do you mean? Because you know, you taught me how to speak parables. Yes, I wish you would get back to that place. You know, Bishop had a way of he would say things to me like, mm, "God knows how to make the sheep speckled." And I said, "What is this man talking about?" And all of a sudden, I realized the man was just speaking the word. Yes, he did make my sheep special. Yes. And my sheep begin to multiply and prosper more than laborers. Yes, yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, 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 so I've learned. And one of the things I have learned is to put away strife. Put it away. Stop looking at people's backyard. So whatever crop there are, planting that's their business yes what does god want you to plant and so and some and sometimes too you know um the the devil comes and sow tears around the wheat so that they can discourage you not to be a good farmer let them grow because them har grow. harvest time is coming the mm -hmm. sons of asa recognize now if you would read this that 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 the harvest for the evil mm -hmm. was coming to end. Their harvest was going to come to an abrupt end. That's right. That's right. That's uh, right. And, and 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 when when their harvest come to an abrupt end, if you keep on walking the walk like Enoch, Enoch walked with God, yes, he did. and it was not. You, when, when you walk that kind of walk, you are not going to have a lot of friends. Now now listen to this. Listen to this. <laughs> What the Sabbath says here. He said, Thus my heart was grieved. It was grieved, yes. I was pricked in my vein, my reins. That means that God was getting ready. God was convicting him. Yes. God was convicting him. He said, So foolish was I and ignorant. Solution. I was as a I was as a beast before thee. Mm -hmm. now, now this is the first we talk about. We know get into that. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless. I am continually with thee. Yes. Thou has holding me up by thy right, right hand. hand. Yes. Oh place my of power. God. Yes. The place of power. Yes. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel. Yes. That is the knowledge of God. That is the light of God. The counsel of, the God, counsel of God is the light of God. The Ooh. knowledge of God that He placed in you. Go ahead, God is giving you counsel. The yes. counsel of God is the knowledge of God. When God gives you His knowledge, you'll be able to see what ordinary men don't see. You now have the knowledge of God. You, uh, uh, that's one of the things we have to pray for: wisdom and knowledge and divine might and divine power. That's what we got to pray for. Seven spirits of yeah. God. Amen. He said, "Thou shalt guide me with Thy counsel, yes. and afterwards receive me to glory." Yes. In other words, I am going to experience abundant life Here in Lord. this life. Yes, yes. Mm. And because eternal life is on the inside of me. Yes, you shall obtain it. Yes. I'm going to go to glory. Yes. He said, now, now he's repenting because he recognized Pentecost, that yes. he was envying people. L listen, saints, don't envy nobody. People will always be people. There will always be greater and lesser persons in themselves than ourselves. But I'll tell you this life in nothing but a circle. Yes. The person you see going up, because what is a circle? This person you see going up yesterday 
gonna be coming down today. Yeah. And the person you see coming down today will be going up tomorrow. Because that's what a circle do. It's around life and nothing but a circle. Yes. What you have to do is to wait until your change, change comes. Come. Yes. Yes. Shut your mouth. Mm. I know you might be burning on the inside and you want to say something. Hold your peace. Let people do whatever they want to do. Yes. Why not? <laughs> you know, one of the things that makes me laugh in this nation, you know, you constantly hear the words in this nation, executive privilege, etc. Et I laugh, but I know, I know there's a God who, who says hi and look low. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. I, I know, I know God cares for his people. Yes. Uh, 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 what 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 did David said? He said, "Lord, turn the counsel of, of Hethipeth." Yes, yes, yes. A Hethipeth yes. into foolishness, but you know Hethipeth had given the right counsel. Yes. He said, "But turn it into foolishness." So I know a God that can turn things around. Yes. Mm -hmm. He said, "Whom have I in heaven but thee. but thee?" Yes. So those of you that are confused about what's going on in the nation and all these things. Put your trust in God. Yes. <laughs> Learn to talk to Jesus about situations. Mm. Learn to tell God. You know when to tell God what to turn and what not to turn. Yes. Everybody want to preach and everybody want to talk. And everybody want to talk politics. And what do you think? I think you should pray. Yes. Because yes. I know how to pray. You know what, what makes me know that God answered prayer? How the Lord has blessed me in my latter days. Yes, yes. What the Lord has done for me in my latter days. And I'm telling you, not, not time yet to give my testimony. Because, you know, I believe testimonies are not going to spoil. Testimonies are not going to spoil. And you say, but you should tell. No, 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 this is not the time. But the Lord has blessed me in a greater way in my latter Glory days to God. that I have ever been blessed in yes. all of my life. Yes. Because yes. life is just a circle. God, mine was a special order, so I had to wait for it. So that's why you're not supposed to envy someone. Let people enjoy their blessing because yours is coming. And when yours come, you have to enjoy yours. It says, whom have I in heaven but thee? And there's none upon the earth that I desire beside thee. And the last verse said, but it is good for me to draw good, nigh to God. Good, good. I have put my trust in the Lord God. I may declare all thy works. Oh, I worship him because of who he is. Yes. Because when I learned that God loved all of his people, And that if all of us as individuals look to God, who is the total, the total source of our supply, we wouldn't envy anyone. So if you have an old car that barely runs, drive it. Life ain't nothing but a circle. Your time is coming. And if you have some rough days that you are going through, go through. God is going to meet you on the other side, but don't envy. And if it seems as though nobody, you're not getting help from here on earth, the Lord is your help, for he's a shade upon your right hand. He is waiting for you to come to him. And if you ever get to know who he is, you know, we know God in the pardon of our sins, right? Yes, and yes. And that's the problem. That's all they ever tell us. And then they told us, learn the holy dance. Yes. If you don't dance like this, this is how you get the victory. But I got the victory through the word. Yes. Everything that the word said, I learned. That it was not only in the dance, it was in the lifestyle. But true worship was when you see who he really is. Yes, yes, yes. And then you recognize you are just his child. We all are his children. And on a daily basis, you go to him as your father. Worship him for who he is. You know what the Lord is saying? He said, but you haven't asked me anything yet. 
ask that your joy will be filled. But if you think that I am Jehovah Jireh, I'm going to meet your needs. And if you think that I am El Shaddai, I am the all breasted one, I'm going to give you everything that you need. Whoever you think that I am, if you really think all of that is me, I'm going to bless you. Amen. The psalmist took his eyes off of people. Take your eyes off of people. I know. I, I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. I heard you, sisters. I heard you, brothers. I heard the things you say. You know, but, but these people are so wicked and nothing is happening. No, no, no. Let me tell you. Something is happening. You know, one of the things that the... Um, he said there seem to be no pans in the death of the wicked. It means that the wicked have money when they get sick that they can take care of themselves and it seems as though they live longer than the righteous. And, 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 and you know, it seems as though everything is... Go no, 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 no. You're looking in the wrong direction. God said, vengeance is mine, Seth, the Lord, I will repay. I will repay. Amen. Everything that was done, God is going to repay. Everything. I, I know there are a group of religious people that think that they rule heaven. But, but, but you know you don't rule heaven. You know, earth no. was given to man. Yes. There, there are a bunch of religious people on this earth that think they rule heaven. You know? And, and they think that, oh, we rule heaven. Hmm? So because we rule heaven, we can control earth. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Heaven is God's throne. You don't rule heaven. And if the church of Jesus Christ, you know, like someone said to me, but, but the enemy, this COVID, this COVID wants to stop the church. This, the, 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 this COVID can't stop the church. We are the church. Yes, yes. We have repented of our sins, baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost. We are the church. Yes. This COVID cannot stop the church. The only thing COVID stops us from doing is assembling, getting together in a corporate worship. Yes. But the church will worship God wherever they are. The church will worship God in a cellar. The church will worship God in a prison. Wherever the church is, the church is going to worship God. Because we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. God lives on the inside of us. And we can praise him. Yes. Stop looking in the wrong direction. And start looking to God. Praise the Lord. These are perilous times. And, and people are saying, should we get back out there to worship? I, I think that congregations should let God speak to their pastors, their pastors. The, well, well, I don't know if every pastor will listen to God, but this is one pastor that I will not take God's people in danger and set them up in a dangerous situation. And I think what we should do is to take it easy and listen to God. Yes, for his instruction. For his instruction. And this is what worship does. You know what worship let us see? It doesn't matter what name you have, whether it's in the natural or in the spiritual, whether you re represent the church, whether you're a bishop, an apostle, whatever you might be. Glory be to God. You, you know what this thing has made us to see? Glory be to God that every one of us can go to God and ask God for direction. Hallelujah. Amen. And look to God. And... and if you sit in a place that the person is not listening to God and is going to put you in harm, you need to pray about that. You need to pray about that. Glory be to God. You need to pray about that because we are supposed to listen to God for the protection of God's people. We are listening and we are waiting to see what the Lord is going to say because when God speaks, we are going to move. Amen. I said, when God speak, that's why I tell there are a bunch of religious people out there that think that they rule heaven, but they don't. They don't rule heaven. God is on the throne, and earth ain't nothing 
upon his footstool. And when God looked down on the nations of the earth, they're just like a drop of a bucket in a bucket, a drop of water in a bucket. It's like a grain of sand on the seashore. That's all we are. Glory be to God. But he is the Lord God of all flesh, and yes. there's nothing, Apostle, too hard. For God to do. Stop looking in the wrong direction and start looking to Jesus. Put away strife. You, you know, there is a difference between joy and happiness. When I was younger, I always wanted joy. You know, you get quick and you want joy. Now I know what happiness is. There's a difference. You make yourself happy. You take the word of God. You apply the word of God to your life and you make yourself happy. You enjoy the word of God. Glory be to God. And you make yourself happy. So you can enjoy both joy and happiness. And both belong to the saints of God. Stop looking around. Because if you look around, you're going to find yourself. And don't envy. Don't envy anyone. Please. I know what I'm talking about. Don't envy anyone. Don't be upset with people if they're blessed before you are because many things that we look at we are assuming spell the word <laughs> if you spell the word that would tell you where we stand don't assume stuff you are assuming that these people are prosperous that's an assumption don't assume stuff because if you assume things you get in a slippery place but no one is true prosperity True prosperity is when your body, your soul, everything about you. But first of all, your soul has to prosper. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Over to you, Apostle. Well, when we looked at all of this, and especially that last verse that you just shared with us, Pastor Hines, when he came to the end of his journey and recognized who God is and what God mm -hmm. has done for him, he comes to one conclusion. Yes. The sovereign God. Yes. He understands the sovereign yes. God who is helping him through these crises and who is delivering him. Yes. He recognizes that everything may not look fair mm -hmm. and may not look reasonable to him. And he may not be able to understand everything now, but if he walked with God. If you walk he said, with God. But it was good. It was good. It I is like good. that word. He said, it was good it for me. It is good. It was good. To draw night to God. Draw night to God. It was good it for was me. It was good for me. It and, was good for me. And James said, James said, if we draw nigh unto God, he will draw nigh unto it's us. It's good for me. He said, but if I resist the devil, he's going to flee from us. The problem with most of us, we don't see, don't take the time out That's right. to be drawn close to God because anytime you are drawing close to God. You are building a relationship, relationship. That's it, a with God. That Ooh, relationship with Him relationship. that it does not change. The relationship is like the woman is all right when she's in the house. Mm -hmm. Amen. She had a, bo a box of alabaster ointment. Yes. And she keep that ointment closed. It didn't bother no moment, nobody. Mm -hmm. The moment she broke the box. Ooh. People got upset. Glory to God. They got upset. It lighted up the fragrant in the oh house. My God, they got and then upset. the Lord said something. He said, What she has done is a memorial. It's yes. going to ever be remembered. Amen. It's going to be remembered till I, I'm going mm. back to heaven, but this will be a remember a, a memorial. It's a sign. The sons of Asaph did the right thing. He said, when they got onto all of the other complaints up. Yes. Uh, how he almost slipped, how his hands were bit. He was envious. He was, and he was not envious. Now, I could understand you if you're envious of, he said, I was envious at the foolish. Yes. I was envious at the foolish. When he said, and instead of as, as, as I, I being envious, I was envious at the foolish. Yes. Because they, are end, they, they, they were going to the come to an end mm -hmm. very soon. And I, I told you last last week in the morning devotion, and I wish that more people would get to get our devotion. We, we tell them, we tell them in the devotion. We tell them that they ought to they ought to uh, have a private pray. Yes. For a public praise. Yes. Amen. And that's what we did. Yes. Yes. I went in, uh, Apostle. I went into my closet. I stopped talking to people. Yes. As a matter of fact, 
when they talk about isolation, I have been doing it now for such a while that yes. it was very easy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. It was very easy. And you know, and like I said to people, I said, I don't have a problem. I have always dwelt among my own two people my own people, even if they were just two. Yes, yes. You know? Isolation was very easy for me. It was very easy. Yes. The only thing I missed is the group of people that the Lord has given me. You know, you do get a you do get attached to those people. Yes. But we keep in touch every Wednesday night. Glory be to God as we share the word together because they're precious. They're God's people. Yes. And they're precious. And He have trust me with them. Yes. And they're very, very, very precious. But 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 I believe the Lord was preparing me for this. So isolation is not a problem. Yes. <laughs> Has never been a problem. Probably would <laughs> would never be a problem. Glory be to God. Because I am acquainting myself with God. Glory be to Jesus. So I just want to thank God for his goodness. Wherever you are, saints. Whatever situation you are in, stop looking around and start looking up. And if you start looking up, you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Praise the Lord. The goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Praise God. So we want to bless God for all of you. Praise the Lord that has come on. Have listened to us and we want to say God bless you, you. Maybe, maybe, you. maybe somebody this afternoon. We thank God for our website that is up now. Yes, our website and is I'm up. I'm sure that this afternoon Pastor Heinz has been a blessing to you and blessing to your life. And you like to bless this ministry in which God has given to her. <laughs> and, and we like you to go to the website and go to that page that said about us. And at the end of that page, there's a donate place there that you can send an offering, amen, to help keep this ministry on the air. You can send it through um, um, PayPal, or you can send it through that um, 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 cash app. Praise God. You can send it there and we'll receive it in the name of the Lord only if we have been a blessing to you. And if you feel that this ministry is being a blessing to somebody else, you can cash up us or you can send it there. Or perhaps you want, want, want to help the other ministries that we helped cover the other places with the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, the global ministry. Go to that global ministry and also you can send an offering there. Amen. Remember your tithes. If you belong to some other church, your tithes belong to that church. Amen. But you want to keep this ministry going forward for the glory of God. Do that. We're going to let you know that Pastor Hines has spent much time, myself and her, praying for the saints of God. And we want to make you a part of our prayer list. And we ask you to join. Amen. And you want us to continue to pray. Send your name. Attach it. To the, to the website, we're going to take your names and we're going to put them before the Lord. If you have a prayer request this evening also, you can call us right now. Amen. With your prayer requests, you can let us know on Facebook or you can call 917-586-9546. Amen. We can take your prayer requests now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning from 6 until 7, this evening, we're going to be back on this evening from 6 until 7 o'clock. Amen. We're going to have a little party for Bishop Hines. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I'm going to have my own party. Yes, he's going to have his own party. Own party with the Praise people of God. If you'll join us on this same media. A party of from praise. From 6 until 7, giving God the praise for another year that the Lord has kept me. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Hines. Praise the Lord. God bless you. You go to that. If you want to, um, like Bishop said, give an offering. Glory be to God. That donate button. For the Revelation Pentecostal House of Prayer in Fayetteville, glory be to God that said about us. Praise the Lord. But we thank God for the saints here. Glory be to God. And I just want to thank God for the members of the Revelation Pentecostal House of Prayer right here in Fayetteville and their continual support. 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Their conti continuous support. Glory be to God. Their support and their giving has not stopped because we have not been at church. They, they minister, they pay their tithes, they give their offerings the same way as though we have been at church. So I just want to thank God. Glory be to God for you. We have taught you the word of God, and I'm very proud of you. You're walking in the word. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So we thank God for every one of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. So God bless you, you, and especially you. And I do want encourage you to support our apostle in the global ministry, global ministry of the Revelation Pentecostal House of Prayer. We're going to be doing great things here. Glory be to God. And you're going to be hearing about them bit by bit. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God bless you in Jesus' name. We thank God for all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I guess it's time for us to get out of here. Bishop, do you want to give us some music? Yes. Father, we thank you for everyone that has been watching this afternoon. We thank you, Lord, for your people. There are no people like your people. For your people are the greatest people on the face of the earth. Those that are called by your name that you know. We're asking you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you will minister to your people, that you will shower your blessings upon your people, that you will touch them from the top of the head to the sole of the feet. But let them see that walking in your divine will is the greatest thing that they can do for themselves. Glory be to God. For walking in your will is what caused blessings to be released. So Lord, have your way. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your blessings and your mercy. We thank you for all that you're doing and what you have done. Now, Lord God, glory be to God, as we go this afternoon, go before us. Go with us and bless us. Lord, bless our apostle. Let him enjoy the balance of his day, his birthday. Glory be to God. And we thank you, Lord, for doing it. Give us some music. Well, bless God. Thank God for you. We got to leave you, but we want you to stay in the very presence of the Lord.
soon we will have race day, a day to be thankful for those off the track while we root.
ever come back from 3-1. Agonizing defeat. Down 5-1. We've all